We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Name, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the player. Are you the one? King City, the biggest stop on the five-stop nationwide tryouts. Here, hopeful soccer players from all over Ontario are trying to make the cut. King City is bringing us a lot of players, which means a lot of competition. With such a large turnout, the event is a full two days. The coaches will have their work cut out for them trying to select the best, and the kids will have to work even harder to impress the coaches. Jake Simmons, I'm number 106, and I'm from Paris, Ontario, and I'm here to be number one. Hi, my name is Sean Robinson, I'm number 108. Hi, my name is Stefan Sebra, I'm number 109. Number 112. 114. 116. 17. 18. Hi, I'm 1 out of 10. Number is 136. Number 123. My name is Konstantinos Arvanitidis. It's really long. You could call me Kenneth. Hi, Mom. My number is 407. 401. Four, 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 Mills, I'm number 28. 199. 198. 197. Hi, I'm Giancarlo Stalteri. Oh, see you. Number 122, remember the face. Make sure you keep yourself properly hydrated, okay? You want to make sure, especially on a hot day like this, even though you don't feel it, you think you're invincible because I remember what it was like to be young. You want to make sure you keep yourself properly hydrated. Day one's temperature is running high, so players will have to fight the heat, humidity, and their nerves to showcase their skills. With registration underway, the day begins, and we'll see if the talent is as hot as the summer sun. It's up to you to stretch it. I'm not going to lead you like a little kid. So you squat your quad, your hamstring, your groin. This is a warm-up drill. This isn't the game. If you can't do this in the warm-up, then you won't be able to do it in the game. When you're under pressure. Oh, out there, out oh. here, out there, yeah, over come there. On, come on, come on. to the man. Let you move. Let you move. Come on. Up, 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 up. You want to play at the next level. You learn to play with control. Well, he's already gone over this with you. Uh, you perform, you go through, you don't perform. That's the end of your day. I want to wish all you guys best of luck today. Push yourselves as hard as you can. First up is a series of drills which test both speed and accuracy. Players must concentrate to secure a spot in the coach's eyes. The first player up has already caught the coach's attention. Stefan Sebera has the speed and agility that coaches like, but this is only the first drill. The exercises are, um, they look easy, but they're pretty difficult. He's got a lot of work to do if he wants to keep impressing the coaches. Uh, I have Shavy Ketchison. I want to be the one to win. Uh, so I can meet my folks back out in England. And, uh, Today's been a great day so far and hope it stays, stays that way. Jamie Ketchison has a lot more for motivation than just passing the drills. Making it to Everton isn't just a scholarship of a lifetime. It also means he'll be able to reunite with his parents back in England. Ball, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm gonna cut. I drive with the ball, I drive with the ball, I drive with the ball, I'm gonna cut. Then I go into the line and then I deliver. This is known as the scoring drill. It showcases both the player and the goalie. Players are given six shots to score on the goalie. If they do well, this is an important drill that can help them get to the next round. 
but doing poorly could cost them everything. The coaches are watching closely, and Jamie Ketchison has his work cut out for him, especially if he wants that ticket to England. With Jamie not doing so well, our good friend Constantino Avratilis, also known as Kenneth, seems to be having his own troubles. As the hundreds of players push on, one in particular has caught the coach's eyes. Uh, my name is Jared Hamilton. Jarrett Hamilton has both power and accuracy, exactly what the coaches are looking for, and it's no easy task standing out in this crowd. Jamie's got one last chance to impress the coaches in hopes of making it through to the next round. Looks like he might still have a shot, and with the day coming to an end, he'll soon find out as we go into the final round of elimination. The points will be right in front of you. You need a minimum, minimum of 60% to move on up today. If you can't get that under pressure, what are you going to do once you get in front of 45,000 people? You want to play at the next level. You learn to play with control. Next on Soccer Dreams. I know I'm gonna be, I'm be no way. I know I'm not gonna agree like this. I know playing. nobody he play like him. No, uh, for <laughs> yes, I'm gonna give him zero. After the break on Soccer Dreams. So far, I think the drills are they're great. They seem easy, but when you're out there, it's a lot more difficult than it seems. And of course, I'm the one. Watch me kind of play with you My name is Richard Bamsey, and I'm from Sarnia, Ontario, and I'm here to be the next Premiership star. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? While eliminations are hard on the players, it seems it's even tougher on someone else. After a long first day of testing each player's strengths and weaknesses, the coaches gather the boys for the first round of eliminations. Whether you make it through to the round or whether you don't, please remember one thing, you have to be positive about the decision, take it, that means you're not ready for it today. You might be ready for it next year or next month. One group will go on to the second round of eliminations and have a chance at going to Everton. I want to congratulate. The other group will go home. You gentlemen for going to the next round. Congratulations. Well, it looks like Kenneth has somehow struck a chord with coaches and made it to the second round. Unfortunately, others weren't so lucky, such as Jamie, who will have to find another way to see his parents in England, as he heads home with the other players who didn't make the cut. While most players can handle the rejection, sometimes it's the parents who can't. Because he's, he's, he's a soccer player, man. Mm -hmm. He's nobody play like him over here. Yeah. Why, he's okay. the, to kick out the first, no, no, no. The game. No, no, because he's a soccer player. I know he's a soccer player. I know nobody player. he play like him. No, uh, for yeah. sure, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give him zero. Based on drills, 
Well, uh, well come on. I come here to fight for him. Very good. Because, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. no, 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 I agree like that. that I, think, I think that the guys make marks. Yeah. They are, I don't, I don't know. I think that the guy don't, 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 don't no, know no. about the football. It's not he's not, he's not passing here. He's passing <laughs> Brazil. He's not passing here. Well, it's okay. Ah, yeah, come it's on, okay. man. Please. There's no sign of this father backing down, so the coaches decide to double check the score. The coaches resolve to give an unhappy player another chance. Everyone gets a good night's sleep, and day two begins with the eager players ready to try and compete for the final spots in the House of Champions. The winners from Vaughn, who will be joining our day one victors in order to compete for a position in the House of Champions. This is where the competition gets intense. No more drills, no more breaks, and no more chances. The last of two eliminations is all about the game. Players will be pit against each other in a variety of teams while coaches apply constant pressure on the players to see who can handle it and who can't. Only the most talented players will make the cut, pushing body, mind and spirit to the limit. Before the players begin, they're given a little piece of important advice by one of the coaches. You're not being evaluated on how well you come close to mirroring Cristiano Ronaldo, okay? That doesn't mean that you have to step over, step over, touch, 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 step over, step over, step over, place your head down. No, we're looking for guys who actually have vision who can see the field, okay? To add to the stress, a scout from Everton will be watching. I guess some players heal faster than others. With Massimo back on the field, the coaches have their work cut out for them if they're going to find the best. A few players have caught the eyes of coaches, but that won't keep the coaches from making them work for their spot. Did you actually pass the ball to somebody inside the 9-10 yard line? Did you? Did you go out there and every time the ball comes to you, you could hold on to it as long as you want? That's your job. Next time that happens, you have a shot so we can see if you can score a goal. Playing high, and you're a lot higher than normal, and you would be in a 4 in a 4 4 2, but you gotta track back to get the ball. Hey, keep moving! Okay, you just keep the ball. Holly! Dribble it, guys. Holly! Okay, my defenders, I want you guys to attack with the wingers. My two central midfielders are gonna work like pigs. Flim the ball, got it? Flim the ball, flim that. What are you gonna do when they, they bring you to Europe and they tell you, okay, you say you're a central midfielder, now you're playing left back? <laughs> what number is Mars? You know what, some of the guys know I didn't play my position, all this, you know what? Stop crying. Please, give me support deep and give me support wide. And the way you react in life is the way you're going to react on the field. Support there, and if he needs you, you will check and show. Okay. <laughs> play, 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 play. Fire. Let's go. On another field, a player who was granted a second chance gives it his all as a nervous father watches on. With so many players, it's hard for everyone to play their position, and it's starting to affect some of the boys.
If I want to show my actual value, I would like to play my position at least. Like one comes to try out for these things, and I would like at least to play my position. That seems only fair. If you gotta get put in goal, you gotta go play goal. That's what we're looking for. How adaptable is a player? I'm gonna put you on five minutes. Game. Let me see what you can do. Take your penny off and the number. While it was a nice attempt to show off his skills, I don't think that's quite what he was going for. Elsewhere, the coaches meet to discuss the players, and it seems there may be a difficult decision to make. Here he is, 115. Um, the kid in the, in the yellow, Kingsley Salazar, probably has the strongest skill set um, overall. And then um, I'm pretty t tight in number two, Evan Caltensis. Caltensis and Gregory Brooks both play pretty similar. They probably had similar goalkeeping training. And then three, four, and five, I don't see as an issue. I see one, two, and three being really tight between the three of them. But they're all, I want, I want to let you know, one, two, and three are all very, very tight right yeah. now. So the game would have to be a tiebreaker in my eyes. With that being said, the coaches go back to the last round of games to help make their final decisions. This is a scary part, but that's the one I'm going to use. Okay. On side, play the ball. Your eyes are going to show something, yeah? That's where you go. Play the part of the ball. We cannot assess anyone. You're running all over the place, trying to impress. It's do or die now, and every player knows it. With no more drills or games left, there's only one thing left for players to do. Play. As the second day of tryouts comes to an end, we've seen a lot. Attitudes, both good and bad. An injury that might cost a player his chances. An Everton scout that put all the lads on edge. And we saw numerous players giving it their all. I think it's fair to say these boys have been through a tough tryout. But time has run out. Players must now face their fate and find out who will make it to the House of Champions. I'm Dr. Monty, I'm a good time with these exercises from Bolton, Ontario. I'm gonna be number one. Hi, I'm Jordan James, I'm number 138, and I think I'm the one to go to the Everton Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? All the drills and games are now over. With the soccer hopefuls lining up, tension is thick. With the boys wondering if they'll ever be picked up as we go into the final round of the King City Elimination. You know, thank you very much for all your time and effort being out here. Um, unfortunately, some of you will be going home today. I'm going to call forward 10 players at a time. This is as real as it gets. There's no ifs, no buts. Someone is going to Everton for two years. That's a guarantee. Out of those 10 players, I'm going to call a couple of names. Whether it's passing, shooting, whether it's just your overall fitness. You know, those are things that you can work over in the next couple of months and then come back next year and prove us wrong. That we made the wrong decision last year. names that I call, they will come even farther forward 
you are going to have a life changing experience. All right, boys, keep your heads up and keep playing the game. I wish you all the best of luck. All right. The following players, step forward, please. Number 109, Sean Robinson, you're going to Ottawa. Step forward, please. My name is Sean Robinson, I'm number 108, and I'm number one. 16, Latwain Anderson, step forward, you are going to Ottawa. Hello, my name is Latwain Anderson, here to have fun and I want to win. Dante Monti, step forward, you are going to Ottawa. I'll be number one. Number 123, Massimo Maribel, step forward, you are going to Ottawa. With eliminations over, it's been a long two days. For the players that didn't make it, they'll have to come back next year and try again. Those who made it will move on to the House of Champions, and one of them will play with Everton. Getting a contract with Everton uh, would be just a dream come true. It wasn't easy, and only the best made it. And now they have a chance to fulfill their soccer dreams. Kingsley made it, he's going to Ottawa. Join us next week as we head to another city in our quest to find the ultimate soccer player on Soccer Dreams. So I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, I'm giving him pain. I was king of the streets until they put me in chains. I got the heart of a gang, the humble boss of the gang. I did my time in the game, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I did the rack. If you're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I did the rack. If they're ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Training day is a sequel, money's the root of evil, but dying is guaranteed to a little